before for the first time we are hearing today from the family of Mike Alexander Garcia. He was killed by a West Hartford police officer last week on New Britain Avenue. Channel 3 Hartford Bureau Chief Aya Galal is live at West Hartford Town Hall with reaction from his family. Aya. Well, Aaron and Mark, the sister of Mike Alexander Garcia says that her brother did not deserve to die. And attorneys speaking out today on behalf of the family say that the deadly use of force was not justified in this case. So let's take you back to what happened last Tuesday, August 8th. Body camera footage from the incident was released by the Office of Inspector General. Some of the video we want to warn you may be hard to watch. West Hartford police were trying to stop a stolen Hyundai Elantra with two suspects inside. Mike Alexander Garcia was one of them and he ran off from police. He allegedly tried to steal two cars before making his way to Town Fair Tire. He got inside a Toyota RAV4 in a garage bay. K-9 officer Andrew Teeter tried to arrest him. He deployed his K-9 inside the car and entered the passenger side. You can hear Officer Teeter yell, I'm going to shoot you. Alexander Garcia drives out of the garage bay and then he hits the K-9 police vehicle and a tree before ultimately crashing into a utility pole. His family says he was struggling with addiction and substance abuse but did not deserve to die. I know Mike was terrified in that car. My brother is dead because the police shot him three times, three times even though he had no weapon. We are left with the memory of his suffering. I keep hearing his voice. Please don't kill me. And we know that Mike Alexander Garcia was living in a halfway house in Hartford. The family's attorneys are running an independent investigation. And we have reached out to the West Hartford Police Department to see if they have any comment today. We have not heard back just yet. But what are the West Hartford Police Department's policies when it comes to use of deadly force? We'll have much more on that coming up on Eyewitness News at 5 p.m. For now, reporting live in West Hartford, Aya Channel 3, Eyewitness News.